Hey all, Flatwood here. Well, according to my uh, chat last night, I still had some of the boarders telling me that um, how do we get a down vector based on relative density disequilibrium? Well, here is your answer. It's the relative density disequilibrium equation. Well, like I was trying to explain, I actually have an equation that I made. This equation brings together relative density disequilibrium and incoherent downward acceleration. How does that happen, you might ask? Well, firstly, you have potential energy. This is equal to the mass divided by the, the, the density disequilibrium. Hold on. In a mathematical formula, you don't write divide in this way. You should write it this way. What he writes here in mathematical terms says potential energy equals mass times density 1 times density 2 times height. Which is governed by the incoherent uh, dielectric acceleration, which, you know, releases the, the energy which gives the vector down. This, of course, is just a whole lot of woohoo, word salad, whatever you want to call it. Incoherent dielectric acceleration would be based on the difference in electric charges between the Earth and the heavens. However, during a thunderstorm, Earth's electric field switches polarity and increases up to a hundredfold. Change in direction would give rise to levitation. So what is down when it also could mean up? By the height. Where does height come into your equation? Is it how you wrote it? So, potential energy equals mass times density 1 times density 2 times height, which would be correct because the more height, the more potential energy. However, we have already established that the way he writes the formula was wrong. So the question is, did he mean to write potential energy equals mass divided by open bracket density 1 times density 2 times the height close bracket? In that case, the potential energy would be inversely proportional to the height, which it most certainly is not. Maybe he went meant to write potential energy equals mass divided by open bracket density 1 times density 2 divided by the height close bracket. In this case he will be right again but he just as well could have written potential energy equals mass times the height divided by open bracket density 1 times density 2 close bracket. But that looks remarkably different from the formula he presented. And that's how, when you change your elevation, you get your accelerated vector. I hope that makes sense to everybody. No, it doesn't make sense. First of all, this whole incoherent dielectric acceleration thing is nonsense. Even Brian's logic, a well-known flurfer, says it's wrong. Secondly, Flatsigned manages to get the whole notation wrong which not only makes you wonder what he actually means, but most of all, it makes you wonder whether Flatsoid ever has taken any lessons in basic algebra. But the worst thing about the whole presentation is that he promises to give an equation for the downward acceleration, but only gives a completely faultly equation for the potential energy of an object at a certain height. When asked by Professor Phil Bell to show an equation that gives the acceleration, there are 45 reactions, but Flatsoid keeps very still, as could be expected.